Hey guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel. If you're new here, I'm Jalissa. So in today's video, I'm actually so excited because I'm going to be using the Dyson Airwrap again. Um, I mean, I have to use it. This is like so expensive. Like, of course, I'm going to try this in every single way possible. Today, I'm going to try it on my naturally curly hair. So I use the Verb Curl Leave-In Conditioner and the Curl Cream um to kind of like curl my hair a little bit my hair is for the most part dry i know it looks kind of wet um but it is pretty dry i would say it's a little bit damp though maybe like 70 percent dry but today i want to see what these attachments from the dyson air wrap will do to my naturally curly hair because i wonder if it's gonna curl my hair how it's gonna curl it how it's gonna look so christmas is coming up and before we start this video i just really want to do a small tiny 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 haul if you are not interested in watching the haul then i will put a timestamp right here so you guys can just skip to the actual video i just need to share with you guys some really cool clothing items that just got sent to me from Cupshe. So I actually decided to get a sweater. This is the one that I'm wearing today. If you guys are wondering where it's from, it's from Cupshe. Super affordable. I really love it. It's so soft, really good quality. I think the colors are perfect for the winter now. I'm going to link everything down below. I'm also going to put the discount code down below so you guys can save some coins. The other item that I got was actually this one. This is a turtleneck and it's blue. I love this turtleneck. It is so cute i wore this for thanksgiving it was the softest thing ever i got some bathing suits because i was very excited i thought they were going to come in time before my dominican republic trip but unfortunately they didn't so i couldn't really take pictures in the dominican republic with the bathing suits and they are brand new so cute so adorable but i'm still going to insert some video in here some pictures i got this two-piece set adorable i got this in a medium i got this red one it's so cute this is in a size small i can't wait for it to be summer so i can start wearing these bathing suits because i know it's so cold like right now as we speak it's snowing outside so it's kind of like not very fun to look at bathing suits and then look outside and it's snowing and it's super cold but if you live in a warm area then lucky you i still wear these bathing suits though when i go to the gym when i go in the pool or when i go in the jacuzzi so still wear them but it is very cold outside <laughs> also this one is adorable it has a lot of different colors this one is blue and has some flowers i think it's really cute i'm really into one piece bathing suits they are adorable thank you cup she for sending me all those cute little bathing suits and sweaters i love this one this is like so cute um thank you so much for sending me that and now let's get right into the dyson air wrap video so i'm gonna kind of part my hair into two sections i'm gonna take a small section of hair and i'm gonna put the rest up i'm looking forward to seeing how this is gonna work on my curly hair because i is this the right one yeah it is the right one because i think that this would be an amazing way to get a nice hairstyle but like something different to your natural curls but not use too much heat on your hair so if this works i'm so for it i'm going to turn it on i'm going to put the heat setting all the way up to high the speed all the way up to high um like usual <laughs> and let's do this wow it's been a while since i've used this i need to use this more because this is not cheap Ooh, okay just gonna leave it there for a couple seconds maybe like 30 seconds i don't know we'll see and this is kind of like a blow dryer so the heat isn't as intense as like a curling wand or a straightener so it should be fine if you leave it for a little bit longer the dyson is even better for preventing heat damage so let's see okay i'm going to put the cool setting okay let's see what we get oh oh my god wait that is adorable <gasps> do you guys see that oh my god that is adorable these are my natural curls kind of damp and then this is the really cool and fun and bouncy curl that you get with the dyson air wrap 
so let's do another section. I'm gonna do the cool shot to set the curl and let's see what we get. So I think that's good. Oh my god. So I'm wondering if I should do a bigger one. I kind of want to stick to the smaller curls because, I mean, they're still pretty big. If you really look at them, they're still pretty big. I'm just going to do it for the video. I'm going to see what I can get with this attachment with the bigger one. But so far, I love this on my curly hair. So far, it's amazing. I'm going to do a section here in the front. Ooh, this got so hot. Oh my god. I'm gonna do a cool shot. Let's see what we got. Whoa. Okay. Yeah, that's huge. I mean, that's still pretty cute. I mean, the roots don't look that flattering with this attachment because it's so big. So I would just stick to a small. I do like these. A lot more though so i'm gonna take this off i kind of figured that i wasn't gonna be a huge fan of the big ones for my curly hair because i do prefer just like the smaller curls because i want it to look more curly you know what i mean Okay guys, so here's my natural curls and then this is with the Dyson Airwrap. These curls are so bouncy and they look like so much fun. <laughs> um, they are actually so soft and it's like completely dry. I am going to do this side and then I'm going to run my fingers, kind of zhuzh it up and see what my hair looks like. I am going to time this side. I didn't time this side because I was talking to you guys. I was trying it out, you know So I just started the timer. So let's do this so far. I really like how my hair is turning out and I think this is a very fast way to get a different hairstyle With your natural curls like look at that. Hey <laughs> Okay, so I am back So here's what my hair looks like I think okay I need to fix it because obviously like I need to move it around and I'm gonna I'm gonna do something with it now but I kind of like this it only took me 20 minutes to do this side I have a lot of hair my hair is a little bit long so I mean I don't think that's bad it'll take me maybe like 40 minutes to do my whole head I kind of look like a little girl <laughs> so let me run my fingers through my hair so the only thing that I would change is, as you can see on the roots, it's like a little bit like, it has a lot of volume. <laughs> so what I would do next time is that I would try to kind of like brush my hair, like when it's curly, just like when it's completely wet. I'm just going to brush my hair and maybe put it back in a ponytail so that the hair can kind of like stretch out so it's not too curly on the top. And then I can even sleep with my hair like that and then the next day I will go in and maybe just wet a little bit the ends and then just use this on my curly hair but mostly the ends but yeah if I do that it will have a little bit less volume up here so that's kind of cool I would like that I mean if you do like the volume you can kind of play around with it you can put it to the side maybe I could pin some of this if I don't want as much volume pin some of it leave some of it out i think this is really cool i think this is really cool and i am gonna play around with it a lot more another thing that i would change for sure is that i wouldn't even use 
a lot of products because my hair feels soft for the most part but it does feel a little bit sticky as well so i would not use all the creams that i use because i use this when i'm just gonna naturally like curl my hair i need the extra product for my curls to really stay but if i'm gonna do this i don't need that much product like i could just use this a little bit on my ends and that's it i really don't need that much for this hairstyle and especially when i'm using this tool but i'm actually very excited to use this tool again and i will work on my roots next time and make sure that they are a little bit more flat before i use the tool and i'm not going to use as much product because i really don't need that much product if i'm going to use this tool i just need maybe a little bit of a cream on my ends to make sure that they look really nice and healthy and shiny so this is what the final look looks like i am just like so happy i know it doesn't look perfect but i really like what this hair tool can do to curly hair so i'm gonna link it down below if you guys want to purchase it i bought it from qvc anyways if you like this video make sure you give it a big thumbs up also don't forget to subscribe to my youtube channel and turn on your post notifications so you can get notified every time i upload a video i love you guys Mwah. bye bye